In this video, we're going to be looking at alkynes for level 2 organic chemistry. Alkynes are all organic molecules which contain a triple bond between two carbon atoms. To name an alkyne, we're going to have to consult our table. We always look for the longest chain which contains the triple bond. In these first three examples here, the first one only has two carbon atoms, so that corresponds to F. The second one has a longest chain which is three carbon atoms, so that's prop. And the last one has a longest chain which contains four carbon atoms, so it's but. Now all alkynes have the ending Y-N-E, ine. So in these examples here, I've got ethine, propine, and but2ine. I have but2ine because the triple bond is at the second carbon atom from the left, so it's but2ine. In this example here, I've got five carbon atoms, so that corresponded to pent. It's an alkyne because it has a triple bond, and that gives me the ending Y-N-E, ine. The triple bond is at the first carbon atom, so the name of this molecule is pent one ine. If the triple bond had shifted across to the second carbon atom, it would be called pent two ine. Now, if I was to name this large molecule here, I do the exact same thing as before. Remember, just to look for the longest chain which also contains the triple bond. In this case, the longest chain is five carbon atoms long, so it's pent. It has a triple bond, so it ends with ine. And it has um, the triple bond at the second carbon atom, so it's pent 2 ine. This time I have a group hanging off the side, which is a methyl group. I know it's a methyl group because it's only one carbon atom long. One carbon atom corresponds to meth. Now at the end of that, I add the letters YL. YL just tells me that it's a side group. And that side group is at position 4. It's at position 4 because I numbered it from left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4. If you numbered it going one way, you can't change your numbering system halfway through while you're still trying to name a molecule. Now, if I had numbered it from the other way, I would have ended up with 2 methyl pent 3 ion. So I have two choices here, the first one or the second one. To pick the best name, the only differences here are that the numbers are slightly different. In the first one here, 4 plus 2 makes 6. And the second one, 2 plus 3 makes 5. Now when I have a choice like that, I'm going to pick the one that gives me the lowest number. So 2 methyl pent 3 ion is the more appropriate name for it. Now as for reactions of alkynes, they undergo something called an addition reaction with hydrogen. And you can use a platinum catalyst to do that. All you do is you take any alkyne, you look specifically at the triple bond. All this reaction does is it changes triple bonds to double bonds and creates two new single bonds. If you remember your definition of an addition reaction from the alkenes video, it's pretty much an addition reaction that's going on here. So remember, change the triple bond to a double bond, create two new single bonds, put your hydrogens on that. I could be any example. So here's another one here, triple bond. All I'm doing is changing triple bonds to double bonds and I'm creating two new single bonds, putting the H's on that, and that's how alkynes react at this level.